Are you happy with the point? <laughs> yeah, I think putting it that way, we, we've got to be, haven't we? You know, Brownie's had to make three or four match winning or match drawing saves. He, he was brilliant on the day. Their keeper right at the end had to make two, three saves on the trot with that one, one move that we, uh, we got in there. But uh, we, we, didn't, we didn't create enough. Um, we didn't do enough. But uh, you know, both teams will probably say you know, no goals against is a, is a positive, although that was down to Brownie. Um, but to be fair, second half, we was probably a little bit more solid in our game and had a little bit more play and looked a little bit more dangerous than we did in the in the first half. So, uh, so you know, you have to take the nil-nil. Um, they probably were were more uh, had more opportunities. Um, I think second half we sort of brought it back a little bit once we made the few changes and the change of shape. And can you put your finger on why the performance perhaps wasn't quite as it has been? Uh, well. You know, there's, uh, you, you, there's no easy teams in this league anyway. You know, you look at the, the boys below us now, they, you know, they both won and uh, they're beating teams that are just above us. So uh, at the end of the day, most teams are much of a muchness, but you, you, you have to pull out a little bit extra to go and win games. And uh, that's what we've got to try and find. It was that little bit extra. We, we, we didn't have that today. Um, but the work, you know, the work rate was sort of there, especially in the second half. And we were frying ourselves to stop shots and you know, trying to stop the shots coming in. And if they did, then, as I said, Brownie, Brownie pulled off a couple of great saves. And, and on the plus point, it's two clean sheets and three now for this, if you like, revised yeah. Cheltenham team. Yeah, thanks, mate. You keep bringing the positives up. That'd be lovely if you want mine. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and that helps. That helps because if you look at... You know, come the end of the season, hopefully we're not going to be in this sort of trouble. But if we do get to the end of the season, where we are a bit, little bit tight, then goal difference you know, is going to be important. And what we've shown is at the moment, and I don't want to talk too soon because we're going to Luton on Tuesday, but um, you know, at the moment we, we, we're not letting in goals. The goalie's done his job today and uh, that's what he's there to do. What made you decide to change the sheep shape midway through the, the second half? Shape? The What's shape, that? the shape. <laughs> change the sheep. Um, well, because I felt we needed to do something different. You know, it was it wasn't necessarily getting better from the first half, that first 15 minutes, and uh, and I felt their wide men were getting a lot of ball. You know, it wasn't quite working for us. It, our individuals weren't keeping hold of it enough, so we was under a little bit of pressure. And I just felt if I brought on a couple of wing backs, they could actually go and mark the two wide players. And uh, Cooper didn't do as much in the second half on this side. Uh, and uh, Pelly did well doubling up with uh, Pikey over that side when his legs were going a little bit. He was getting cramped and that. He'd had a quite a heavy, it's quite heavy over this side, so he had a pretty heavy first half. But um, yeah, so uh, the shape did help us, the, the change of shape and uh, we'll have to wait and see which players I think can do the job at Luton and then I'll dictate the shape from that. And you, you could have run it, as you say, right at the end. We could have done that. Was it the keeper save it or was it defender, a defender think, on the line? Was it? It, was a, it was a great volley um, from Kyle, wasn't it? Kyle and the new sure lad. And I sure want to see when it came out mm -hmm. to him, he then hit it and... Uh, but. We can't complain because, as I said, uh, Brownie's made a few of them as well. So, but it would have been lovely, wouldn't it, to have come away uh, as uh, one nil winners, having not played particularly well. Gary, thank you very much. No problem. Gary, thank you. you stood here two and a half hours ago. You mentioned about the, the, the team selection and yeah. the system you're going to play. What were the yeah. thoughts about about changing to, to the four four two? Ah, yeah. You know what? We 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 tried to get a bit of tempo going, right? Paul was in the meeting and. Uh, so we said, even to the point where we were going to have kickoff, and we were going to put it in there and keep them in there for the next 15 minutes, right? We kicked off, didn't make the right ball at the right time. So it went forward, but they edited it. And then Pikey weren't able to put it back in, so it went to the goalie. Then we had a header up there that went to the goalie. The goalie picked think, five times, and now he's putting, giving the momentum, their goalie, to their team, just because we couldn't keep it. And that was so frustrating because we talked about it, we 
we'd, we'd worked on it, um, and they were they were brilliant a couple of days ago <laughs> on the training ground. But uh, today, crew wanted to do the same, and, and they started off better than us. You mentioned the, uh, the, the the teams below you winning. Is the experience of last year being in a in a different kind of race, as yeah. it were, going yeah. to be beneficial this year? Absolutely. You know, of course it is, and. I've had these challenges before as well, sort of thing. You know, um, players have got to step up to the plate. Uh, you pick them, and when you pick them, you're saying, you know, I've got faith in you to do well for this football club, and I'm picking you in the first eleven when I'm leaving some others out. So, you know, give me something back and show me what you can do. But today, that didn't really, didn't really happen because. Other than maybe Craners when he came on, I thought it two or three great balls into the box. Um, there wasn't enough people on their game. You mentioned as well the, the, the young back three keeping a clean sheet. Obviously, people like Manny is really yeah. beginning to step up and, yeah. uh, and and get used to this level yeah. now. Will Boar's doing well as well. Yeah. Are you are you pleased with the, that progress that you're making after yeah, having that period of, of conceding? Yeah, they'll only get they'll only get better because the more experience they get as individuals, the more experience. I mean, you look at the back four. What are they? Nineteen, Pikey, twenty Manny, twenty one Will, 22, and uh, twenty two. I assume was Sean Do you know what I mean? So. You know they got plenty of time to improve, and we're building. We're, we're building for the future, but we've got to make sure the future's at least at this level at the moment. Um, and we've got a few other young lads in there, of course. But uh, no, we're working with them, and uh, hopefully the two or three clean sheets, as you said, will give them confidence. But the people in front of them have got to do a job as well, helping them defend, but helping us create opportunities going forward as well. That's the the job of our midfield. I'll ask you about one of the old ones, the Aaron Dan's in the stands today, doing a, a bit of scouting for you by the look of it. For, for yeah. That came down. Is, is he still got a playing future for, for the club? Yeah, he has. Um, and, he, and he's done, he, he's worked with the lads at the back as well. You know, he's taken them for four or five sessions. So, you know, credit to him because uh, they respect what he tells them and what he says and uh, whether we're playing a four or, or a five. Um, you know, he's, he's worked with them uh, quite a lot. Me and Russ work with them as well on a couple of things. So they're getting a lot of work, but uh, Downsy's found a nice little niche where he can still train. He's still going to train because we may need him, of course. So, you know, his playing days ain't exactly at a full stop. But at the same time, um, you know, we can use him, A, as club captain, because he's still a great ambassador for the club and he's still good in the dressing room, etc., etc. And, uh, you know, he's... It's just as you do when you're 30 odd and had nine operations on your knees, um, you start thinking about helping other people. You thinking more coach than player now? Almost. I'm not thinking nothing. I'm just yeah. telling you how it is at the moment. You know we can't exactly throw anything, any light on it. I've had a chat with Downs. He's happy with his lot. He knows that sometimes he's going to be on the bench, sometimes he's not. Um, it just depends on the, the situation. That so he'll keep himself fit. He's a fit lad anyway. Um, but he's also helping out now with uh, making sure that we, we don't let in goals, even though he's not actually on the pitch. Finally, 28th of January today, three days left. A anything going to be likely happening in or out? No, I'll be pleased when three days get <laughs> over. Johnson because, be well, yeah, but you won't ask me <laughs> that question <laughs> again. Uh, all managers are fed up with that. And uh, it's only the same thing. There's not, the, 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 if there's something pending, it will just happen if you know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? It won't. It won't be something now that's been long, drawn out, sort of waiting stuff. It's. Uh, it'll be something that just pops up, and uh, when it does, I'll be ready. Thank you.